Mrs. M here again, back in the creepy computer elevator room with another installment of First Chapter Friday. Today we're going to be talking about a Maine Student Book Award nominee called Attack of the Black Rectangles by Amy Sarah King. And this one is really cool because it's about censorship, which you all know that I don't like censoring books. You should be able to read what you want. So this one is on the Maine Student Book Award list and it's really, really cool. Just as always, I'll read you the back, and then I'll read you the first chapter. In this case, it's something called the prologue. When Mac first opens his classroom copy of Jane Yolen's The Devil's Arithmetic and finds some words blacked out, he thinks it must be a mistake. But then when he and his friends discover what the missing words are, he's outraged. Someone is trying to prevent kids from reading the full story. But who? Even though his dad tells him not to get so emotional about a book, Mac has been raised by his mom and granddad to call out things that are wrong. He and his friends head to the principal's office to protest the censorship, but her response doesn't take them seriously. So many adults want Mac to keep the, his words to himself. Mac's about to see the power of letting them out. So censorship is like when you take, you know, a book and you black out words so that you can't read certain words because they're not appropriate. So the prologue is called The Adults Around Here. And it starts with a quote from Laura Samuel Set. I am here to protect all of us from the ugly world. Right, the adults around here, prologue. According to a lot of the adults in our town, everything here is perfect. We don't have accidents. We don't have any crime at all. We don't have Halloween anymore or junk food. We don't have bad thoughts. We don't use bad words like cancer or death or sex or donut. A lot of people think Miss Laura Samuel set for this. Thank Miss Laura Samuel set for this. She's as famous as a person can get in our town, and probably the only reason the local newspaper is still in print. Everyone reads her letters there. Miss Set is also a sixth grade teacher, but the adults around here are her students as much as the kids like me who pass through her classroom at Independence North Elementary School. Those adults join Miss Set in letter writing, sitting on the town council and committees, and making rule after rule after rule. They seem to believe that rules equal safety. By making more rules, they're keeping us all safe and keeping the town's reputation spotless. Miss Set thinks that if we even think about bad things, our whole town could fall right into the toilet of the world, just like all those other towns, she says. The adults around here don't just keep our town safe from unsavory words and thoughts. They keep our town safe from unsavory people, too. And if we believe what the adults around here say, then unsavory people are anyone who doesn't go to church, anyone who doesn't pledge the flag louder than the person next to them, and anyone who eats junk food. Most of us have to go to the next town over to do our grocery shopping so we can buy Cheetos. My family has ignored the town's silly rules for as long as I can remember. We don't go to church. I don't pledge the flag overly loudly, and we eat a decent amount of junk food. My mom loves Oreos, I love Cheetos, and my granddad is a bona fide candy freak. Miss Set wrote a letter to the paper one time about an elderly man who sits on Main Street always eating candy. She asked for him to be removed for his bad example to children. She was talking about granddad. Here's what he did in response. He started bringing me with him. Don't get me wrong, we eat really good homemade food and a lot of fruits and vegetables, and I get a lot of calcium and vitamins and grains and protein and all the other stuff in the food pyramid. There are much worse things in the world than junk food. Mom knows it because she works at a place that helps people grieve the death of their loved ones and helps people with cancer and other terminal illnesses. Granddad knows it because he fought in the Vietnam War. My dad sure knows it because he's always mad at something, like every single day. I just think Miss Set and the adults around here should mind their own business. I don't think any town is perfect, and I don't think any town is in the toilet of the world. I think life is what life is, and we just have to try our best. Life is what life is, and we just have to try our best. Mac Delaney. For all I'm about to say here about her and for all her weird rules, Miss Set taught me to stand up for myself, and I'm grateful to her for that. You're probably confused. Yes, Miss Set is a pain and thinks we shouldn't eat Cheetos. But also, yes, she was nice to me when I needed it most. No one is ever just one thing, and not everyone is telling the truth. That's the closest anyone will ever get to perfect. And then the next chapter is called, the first chapter, I guess, because that was the prologue. It's called Last Year, Bot Duck Man. So if you're interested in reading Attack of the Black Triangles by Amy Sarah King, you can come visit me in the library and check it out.
Thanks for visiting on another First Chapter Friday. Toodles.